She gonna do what? This video is brought to you by Beating Black and Blue. Beating Black and Blue, my brand new book, Being a Black Police Officer in America Under Siege. Get the book right now. The link is in the description section. Or you can visit um, the Officer Tatum store. You can get the signed copy, non-signed copy. It's up to you. Make a decision. I don't have to tell you what to do. It's up to you. I love you guys. I appreciate all the support. I mean, you guys have been going crazy with the books. It's so many books, I, I, I don't know if I can keep up with signing all of them. Thousands of them. So anyway, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate your support. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, uh, 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 I thought I'd make a video about this. And somebody, some people are not going to like what I have to say. But I'm going to say it anyway because I don't care. Now, let's get to Miss McSnitchy over here. This is, this is what makes me mad because people that do... You know, activism in uniform, I disagree. Take your uniform off, wear your, take your BDU off, wear your green shirt underneath or whatever. People know you're in the military if you got an a Army green shirt on. You could even say you're in the military. You don't have to say what unit you're in. You don't have to expose your name. You don't have to expose what branch of the military you're in. You can make your statement and be political. Wearing a uniform, in my opinion, is not the right way to make a political statement or make a statement based on your own personal beliefs. Why, Mr. Tatum? Because when technically when you're in a uniform, you're acting on behalf of the government and your command staff. I don't want people in the, in, in the military pushing LGBTQ stuff in the uniform, and I don't think people should be pushing other stuff in the uniform. Take the uniform off. When you're off duty, when you're not active, then you can say whatever you want. So I agree to a certain degree that people are, are against doing this stuff in uniform. When I was a police officer, I, took, I was at home. I was off duty. I wasn't on the clock. They wasn't paying me. When I was making any statements about anything I believe, when I was wearing a uniform, I was impartial, working on behalf of God and doing what I was supposed to do according to the Constitution and the law. I was in the middle when I was working. You would know what political stance I'd have because I, it, none of that matters. I'm working off the Constitution and the law and, and the gifts that God has given me. Other than that, B. Tatum does this stuff off duty. Now, with this being said, they fire people all the time for making statements with uniform. This woke social justice warrior affirmative action hire should have probably never been hired because she can't pass the real PT test that the men go through. But they give them this false sense of reality, false sense of hope that I'm, I have a uniform on, so I'm somebody. I, I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of people placating and, and making up this false sense of bravado for people. I'm not in favor of women in the military. I'm just going to say that. Now, we live in a country where you can do whatever you want to do. If you ask me, I think that if a woman is going to be in the military, she should have to pass the exact same physical fitness, boot camp, everything that a man should. Don't separate it. They should all go through the same boot camp at the same time. They should do red man fight. They should fight each other at the same time. There ain't no uh, uh, kid gloves. Because when you get out in, in, in a combat field, they don't, in another country, they're not going to say, oh, that's a girl. Okay, put a girl up there to fight. You're going to have to fight men. But, People like this probably never see combat anyway. They probably, their MOS is uh, on the desk their whole life, and they ain't never picked up a gun except in, in, ba in basic academy. But, I, but it makes me upset. But regardless of that, I want you to hear what she had to say. And I want you to understand that she will take an L if she do what she say she going to do, if, she, if my house is the house she's talking about. Rotofilm understand that if active duty military actually get deployed within the United States, that weapon is not just pointed at other people, other countries. It's pointed at you. Oh, really? If you do not get in your house when I tell you to, you become the enemy. Martial law. Understand that if Man, I I would I I come on. Come come martial law my house. I ho I hope you do. I hope I hope that you the first one to show up at my house and, and claim you're going to martial law with, and put some bass in your voice when you show up cuz you're going to take a massive L coming to my house. I cannot stand people like this. She should be fired. You are essentially saying that American citizens are the enemy. You, you, you're pushing a political agenda. Come bring your affirmative action hire to my house and, and, and show me what martial law is. You're going to take a massive L. I want I want her to know this, and I want everybody else out here that's in the military to think you're going to, that somehow you're going to come in and exercise martial law. You're going to take a L. 
I used to think that military personnel. Let me let me let me let me give you let me give you this. I'm gonna give you the raw uncut. I used to think that all military personnel were honorable, and then I realized that there's a large majority of people in the military that ain't doing nothing. They sitting on a base all day. They don't do combat. They sit. They, they're social justice warriors sitting around doing nothing. They ain't never gonna see combat. They don't want to. Same thing. I mean, no, there's there's some police officers that are piece of trash as well. But at least when you're on the police department, you got conflict every day. Every day you're conflict. You're fighting somebody. You're chasing people down. Some of these people like this, they sit on the base all day. They don't do nothing. They do nothing. Now, if you're in the military, maybe you get deployed wartime and not. Some of these people never get deployed. I know people in the military that have never been deployed, and they don't want to get deployed. They sit on a base. Or if they get deployed, they get deployed to some cushy place um, sitting on a base somewhere. And I know some people ain't going to like what I have to say, but I'm just keeping it 100. I'm keeping it 100. She's probably never seen combat. Maybe she has. Talking like this and the way she looked don't look like she's seen, seen no combat. But it bothers me that people get this false bravado. Come see me, you, me, at my house, and you push martial law if you want to. I hope that you, you have been working on your training and they've letting you check out your weapons because you ain't, you ain't stand a chance. But anyway, let me not go too that far down the rabbit hole. Um, it bothers me that people talk like this. I used to think that people would stand up for the Constitution in the United States of America in the face of a tyrannical government. These are the fools that will stand against the American people, knowing that they're citizens of the same country. Because they're empowered by this uniform, they will stand against the Constitution and enact tyranny on their own family, on their own people. But it's not going to work in America because you're going to take that L. Veterans who are honorable, ex-police officers, current police officers who are honorable, on the SWAT team, tactical teams, been deployed, combat zone, good luck in acting your little martial law with your affirmative action hire. You can't even do more than 50 push-ups. Go lay down somewhere. Anyway, I, I'm not going to get too crazy, but what she said was disrespectful. She should be fired. Just like they fire other people making political um, activism in uniform, she should be fired. You're on the clock. You shouldn't even be on TikTok. You shouldn't even be on TikTok. Parade around with your chest high. Don't even have a gun or a vest. I, I see military personnel do this all the time. They walk around in, civil, in civilian life. They don't even have a gun or a vest, but they have BDUs on. I think that's the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Military personnel walking around in public with BDUs on with no weapons, no vest, nothing. What are you wearing a uniform for? Why are you dressed like a soldier when you ain't ready to take no action? You don't even have backup. If you get confronted somewhere in the, in, the, in, in, the, in the grocery store, you don't have nothing to defend yourself with. What's the point? That's like a police officer walking around with his uniform on without a gun belt on. What are you doing? But in the military, that's, that makes sense. I don't know. That makes sense. Anyway, let me, let me get up off this thing before I say something crazy. Comment in the comment section, am I tripping? Or are these people the very thing that's wrong with our country? And I think she should be fired. They fire other people for, for saying personal, making personal opinions in uniform. Then they need to fire her. Anyway, I love you guys. See you on the next one. I'm out of here.